What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the newest commanders in Rise of Kingdoms. So I just woke up and I saw that the update went live for Rise of Kingdoms and with it came new commanders, which is always exciting. Now we kind of expected this, right? Because uh, the previous list of commanders, the previous uh, set of commanders, you know, the Wheel of Fortune commanders are running out. Ramsey been, has been on the wheel for a while now. So it was about time for there to be new commanders in the game. And it looks like Lilith has delivered. So from what we can tell, we have two new commanders. We have Theodora and we also have Yi Sun Sin, which is another Korean commander, which is super cool. Um, and I want to go over these commanders a little bit as well as some of the other changes that came along with the update. And I kind of want to just give you guys my opinion on these two new commanders because it's always exciting, right? It's always exciting. And there may be other content creators who have already uploaded videos about these commanders, but I just want to give my take and kind of go through it with y'all, right? We could talk about these commanders and see what's good. So Theodora, the thing about Theodora is she is going to be the mightiest governor commander. So every time that they release new legendaries, they usually come in pairs and typically one of them is earned through mightiest governor. The other is earned through wheel of fortune and E Sun Sin is that commander. He comes from the wheel of fortune. So after Ramses is off the wheel, E Sun Sin is going to be the next commander. So Theodora is a leadership garrison defense commander. Her first primary skill is called Byzantine Empress. Uh, rage requirement of a thousand it deals a damage factor of up to 1400 to, to up to five enemies in a circular area in a circular area. You heard me right. Damage dealt to each target will be reduced by 15% for each target after the first. So this is literally copy and paste Yi Song Ye, except you don't have to expertise her to get that circular area. So this is actually crazy because look, if you look at Yi Song Ye, um, it's the exact same thing. Deals a direct damage to up to 1400 damage factor to enemies, but this is a fan shaped area, still a reduction of 15%. And then you have to expertise him for it to be a circular area. Theodora just says, you know what? Forget the expertise. I'm hitting everybody. It doesn't matter if you're near me, you're getting smacked. And that's awesome, right? That's awesome because without needing to expertise her, um, you can actually bring her to maybe 5111 or 5511. And you can maybe pair her with Yi Song A primary uh, and still and have two commanders that are circular area damaging the field super crazy absolutely nuts her second skill it's a, it's keeper of secrets it says when commanding the garrison all troops under theodora's command gain plus 10 percent defense bonus and damage taken from rallied armies is reduced by 10 percent so this again i'm reading this at five skill points so this effect looks like it only works in the garrison this does not work in the open field it doesn't matter um this is a garrison specific skill which is interesting right this is interesting she's giving a defense bone uh defense bonus to every troop type not a single troop type all troops 10 percent defense that's crazy now the damage taken from enemy rallies is interesting because this means that if you're getting swarmed if your city is getting swarmed this won't come into effect unless you're getting swarmed by rallies which is in fact uh the case for the current meta so to me this looks like a response to attila takeda right everybody was talking about how broken attila takeda is now we're seeing uh two commanders come out this is a gar garrison defense this is a, a garrison defense so we're seeing two garrison defense commanders come out directly after Attila Takeda being uh declared like super super OP right um and I know there's there's answers to them I'm not saying there's not but this is going to be a whole new level of garrison defense right because if we go into her third skill it says all troops under Theodore's command gain 10 percent attack right so not only do you get 10% defense in the garrison, you also just get 10% attack across the board. While Theodora's army is at more than 50% strength, her troops deal an extra 10% damage. So this means that first rally that's hitting your city is going to be even melted, uh, melted even more than, than it already was, right? And, and we've seen this, if you watched my, um, the video where that 138 million power player gets rallied, the first rallies always tend to get melted. This is going to make them melt even faster, right? Even faster. 
faster because the first 50 percent uh a strength like that's crazy you're gonna be at over 50 percent strength for a decent amount unless you're getting triple rally or something that's a different discussion her fourth skill royal power when commanding the garrison each time theodora's troops take damage they have a 10 percent chance to gain a 10 uh, i'm sorry a 40 percent damage bonus for three seconds for three seconds this does not specify so this literally if she's in the garrison and she's getting surrounded this is gonna pop off over and over and over again right because it literally says each time she takes damage so the more people attacking her the more times she's taking damage which means if you surround a garrison with theodora her this is almost guaranteed to pop and that's a huge damage bonus that is absolutely massive her expertise changes her primary skill into e song a's expertise except immediately removes any slow and control effects from her troops so this is insanely good right um obviously slow effects don't matter when she's in the garrison and two of her skills specifically talk about the garrison right so she's going to be way better in the garrison than she will be in the open fields however her primary skill along with her third skill is going to be insanely good in the open field right because she's giving an attack bonus to all troops and a damage bonus to all troops if she's above 50 percent but the expertise on her is actually going to make her even better in the open field too because now she can't be slowed uh, or she'll remove slow effects and it'll remove the control effects from her troops so let me just take a look here um on kusanoki um removes all negative and control effects from kusanoki so it's a little bit different right because it sounds like this does not remove negative effects just control effects i don't know specifically the difference between the two uh, but it looks like she's removing some number of debuffs right it may not be all debuffs in the game but she's removing slow debuffs and control debuffs which is crazy so if you have i mean this may be the and again this commander just came out no one's play tested her but what if you did like what if you did a, a, an Isong a primary with the skill tree theodora secondary in the open fields now you have two circular area aoe commanders if she's expertise it's also dealing a huge damage factor but not only that your Isong a can no longer be slowed or have control effects on him and above 50 percent strength their damage bonus is 10 percent higher right which means all damage all damage is 10 percent higher plus that attack buff that could be an interesting combination i don't know if it'll be um widely used because again half of her skills are garrison specific so that's interesting but a theodora primary with the garrison defense tree and then an isong a secondary on your wall that might be insane that might be actually insane like that is a huge that is lila saying hey we know the new meta is triple rallies uh so here's an, a way that you can defend against that right and you know arguably if you're getting triple rallied you still are probably going to lose because they're probably going to keep going and going and going but this commander is going to hit all those rallies for insane damage and it you know this royal power like if you're getting hit by multiple targets like damage bonus of 40 percent like oh my god dude insane insane let's talk about e sun sin so he's leadership garrison defense whereas she oh same thing okay leadership garrison defense for both of them his primary skill is duke of loyalty and warfare i like that that's cool uh it says a ridge requirement of thousand field battles deals direct damage to the target damage factor of two thousand that's crazy what holy okay when he's on the garrison deals damage to up to three targets in a fan-shaped area with a damage factor of 1400 so it's a mini e song but uh deals uh, but each target received 15 percent less damage that's normal uh in field battles and garrison battles damage dealt also reduces target movement speed by 30 percent for three seconds that's crazy right that's cool um hit, you know when he's on the garrison he deals uh a, still a respectable damage factor it's not to five targets like it is for e song and for theodora but hey he's actually insanely good as a single target damage factor in the open field so multiple uses for him that's awesome his second skill is oh no i can't pronounce that <laughs> um normal attacks have a 10 percent chance of increasing your defense by 20 percent and all damage by 15 percent for three seconds when this commander is fighting within alliance territory or serving as 
garrison commander at a stronghold okay so that's interesting that's oddly specific it sounds like that does not work on your wall right i mean it says stronghold we'll have to test to see exactly you know sometimes lilith um there's translation errors when new commanders and new items come into the game or new skills or talents or whatever so sometimes there's translation issues right at the beginning right at the launch of these new commanders um and so you know maybe this maybe this is a little bit of a typo i'm not sure again we have we don't have these commanders they're not tested yet but um this looks like it's not gonna work in your city oh unless actually you know what um if your city's in alliance territory it would work so that's interesting so this is going to be really cool um this is going to give you a huge incentive to defending your territory right it's not going to be maybe so good for uh hitting in the open fields but it'll be great for defending your territory which is awesome third skill can't pronounce that either um increased troop defense by 30 percent and increases troop damage by 20 percent when troop units under your command drops below 50 percent so this is interesting right this is interesting if you pair him with theodora her fourth skill i'm sorry her third skill when she's uh, in garrison it, or no this is not garrison this is at, at any time when she's above 50 percent she gets a 10 percent damage bonus but let's say she's paired with isong sin when she drops below 50 percent then his third skill kicks in and now you actually get a 20 percent damage bonus so it actually goes up when when your army would get reduced that's awesome right that's a really that's some cool synergy there right that's some cool synergy it's also increasing all troops defense by 30 percent that's pretty cool that is pretty cool right because if we look at her um her defense bonus is only 10 percent to all troops and it's only when she's in the garrison it looks like um but this doesn't specify at all this just says all troops get a 30 percent defense bonus so you don't have to bring all of one troop type he in fact doesn't care about a single troop type so you could technically do a mixed army with him hey that, that's a thing fourth skill is called winged formation increases attack of garrison troops by 20 percent when this commander is serving as garrison commander gains a 10 percent chance of receiving a shield with a protection effect of 500 protection damage factor of 500 plus 10 percent more counterattack damage for uh, i'm sorry 30 percent counterattack damage for the next three seconds when attacked so that bonus counterattack damage is actually really really good um you're getting a small shield which is nice you're getting a really nice attack buff what i'm wondering though is it says gains a 10 percent chance of receiving a shield plus the extra counterattack damage does he always have that counterattack damage or is there only a 10 percent chance of it happening like does the shield and the counterattack damage happen together or is the 10 percent chance for just the shields but he always gets the counterattack damage it looks to me like they're tied together right it looks like there's only a 10 percent chance of him getting that 30 percent counterattack bonus uh, as well if that's the case um i i don't this is still a really good skill right it's still a really good skill super interesting let's take a look at his expertise it says straight up increases troop attack by 20 percent and defense by 20 percent when commanding two or more unit types so this is a mixed army right you're going to be using a mixed army with this commander when he's expertise that's crazy right that's across the board open field in garrison whatever 40 percent of stats just boom 40 percent of stats like wow that's that's really cool i really think that's awesome now um these two commanders look to me like an answer to Attila Takeda right and I said this before there's already an answer to them I get that but this is this is doubling down on defense meta right like this is going to be crazy because we already have really good garrison commanders right now they may not have been um something comparable to Attila Takeda but they were close right they were close if not the same and so now the fact that you're going to be able to pair these commanders with people like Esong, people like Charles Martel, who already have 30% counterattack damage bonus all the time, all the time. We've got Richard, typically he's not going to be on your wall, but regardless, we've already got some really great garrison commanders. Constantine as well. There's awesome garrison commanders in the game already, and not to mention Wu, like Jesus, Wu. This is nuts, right? These commanders are insanely good for the garrison. Theodora is is basically like I don't know. It, she's it, I'm gonna I love to see what people do with these new commanders when they come out because again she seems to be half her skills are specifically for garrison, but her AOE and expertise are so good along with her 
third skill i can see her being used in the open field with isong I, I can see it happen people are just gonna want to try it out just because they both have that circular aoe and they just want to hit a ton of targets a bunch of times so i mean lord help you if you stand close to an enemy flag with isong primary theodora secondary lord help you your troops will be melted like oh my god so the combination possibilities with these commanders are insane because they don't care about a specific troop type they don't care right we have isong with archers we have um constantine with infantry like they kind of care right they kind of care about that troop type but these two don't right wu zetiano is another one that doesn't care about um troop type at all this is interesting um and they have the defense tree just like uh charles martel so that's going to be really crazy because people like martel primary for that reason um in the garrison at least so these are insanely good defense commanders i'm really excited to see what players do with them now keep in mind if you don't see them in your game that's because they are only showing up for uh, kingdoms that have been open for more than 310 days so if your kingdom is newer then you're not going to be seeing these commanders for a while now it's also worth noting another change we're going to talk about some other changes now uh ulji mundak they changed how he looks um he looks like an absolute warlord badass now which is awesome um i actually liked his previous design as well so i didn't really care what they did with ulji mundak um but they decided to redesign him maybe for historical accuracy i think he looks absolutely awesome the horns the helmet super sick his skills are exactly the same his talent trees are exactly the same he has not changed other than looking different at this moment in time a couple of other changes that i noticed uh in this update if you go over to your city hall there are some new uh city skins so we've got um dragon boat wish here this is an epic so this to me means if you look here it says limited edition dragon boat festival city theme can be attained in the 2020 dragon boat festival events so the dragon boat festival event is coming up soon because they already put the reward in the game i think this is a very interesting city skin it's it's like it goes all in on the theme right it's 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 a huge freaking dragon serpent coming out of your city and it's all made of bamboo i think it looks cool um it's an archer defense cavalry health i mean it's not something that i'm probably going to be using right um we just saw king's cottage reduce cavalries as well um and then if we look at timbered ensemble we saw that reduce cavalry as well so this is almost a very similar thing right um if we look at this it's archer defense cavalry health if we look at this it's archer defense cavalry defense so i mean this just came out so these are very similar uh city buffs so really if you get this and you didn't get the other one like the odds are you have this one right um i don't know to me the the buffs are not that great because we just saw a city skin like it but cosmetically it looks cool so for all you collectors out there myself included very awesome now we got milk abbey um this is also a dragon boat festival city theme so that's interesting except it is a legendary city skin and this increases cavalry health by 10 percent and in decreases infantry and arthur health uh, Ar archer health by five percent each so very interesting if you're all in on cabs this is going to be a great city skin um health is like the hardest stat to buff um, right because you you have items for buffing attack and defense but you don't have an item for buffing health so that may be a useful sk uh, city skin for other players let's go ahead and look and see if any of these other ones look new to me yeah i don't see any other new city skins it looks like um let's see if there's any new like name plates or something what is porcelain pusher so dragon boat festival so it looks like dragon boat festival is going to be bringing some other things to it this is another oh okay so there's going to be a new bundle called dragon boat race dragon boat race bundles should be coming soon that's really interesting very dragon theme lots of dragon things coming to the game right now so if you're into dragons this is a good time to be playing rise of kingdoms let's take a look at um some of the other customizations maybe some different frames we got going on in here we got another porcelain pusher and dragon boat drum roll so we're gonna see this bundle is gonna have more cosmetics this is pretty consistent with things that lilith has done in the past so this looks really 
interesting we haven't seen that color scheme i don't think so very interesting stuff this looks like christmas themed almost very very weird color choices there now i didn't notice anything new in the blacksmith which is something that i did check out i didn't see anything new in here so it looks like to me um, there was no changes to vip there was no changes to the shop it looks like there's no changes to gold keys or anything like that so there may have been other changes in the game but i really just wanted to make this video to cover the big ones which were the new commanders and then some new cosmetic stuff coming to the game some new events some new bundles coming very very soon with that boat festival so stay tuned for that guys uh, we'll probably be covering that when it comes out but guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video it does help out my channel a ton subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you are new around here um, comment down below any questions that you have about the new commanders again I don't have them yet I'm in a much newer kingdom so I won't have them for a while but I can try to answer some questions for you just based on like my knowledge of the game kind of links are in the description below for my twitch where I go live stream often with rise of kingdoms I also have all my social media links and my discord down there below so if you have any other questions for me you can reach out to me on discord and I will be happy to answer you there as well follow my Instagram I'm trying to use that a little bit more and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace